Hello, uh, my name's Paul Laird. I've been Programs Manager at International Tree Foundation for nearly five years now, and I'm about to retire this week and hand over to my very good friend, Ricardo Romero, who's taking over from me, and uh, ITF, International Tree Foundation, will be in very good hands with Ricardo. Uh, after a very varied career, it, it was a remarkable opportunity for me to come and work um, with International Tree Foundation and to find an organization that from its history and through its ethos um, really uh, captures, encapsulates all of those ideas about the importance of local people, of local communities, of women, uh, of other vulnerable and marginalized uh, people having opportunities to be involved in managing their own landscapes, in restoring their landscapes, um, and taking people seriously as managers of their own biodiversity, of their own landscapes, um, and of, of nature around them. Um, and uh, during the five years I've been with International Tree Foundation, I, I've done my best to make that as real as it can be. We exist, International Tree Foundation exists really to support communities who conserve forests and plant trees to, um, to sustain uh, ecosystems, biodiversity, uh, ecosystem services such as, as water catchment and to improve their own lives and livelihoods and the quality of their life in the landscapes where they live, the landscapes that people understand. Um, and that's what we are trying to do. Um, it's always challenging. Um, it, it's not a simple matter, but consistently we're trying to, to support groups who demonstrate how local people can do it for themselves, who don't need to be reliant on big external donors or governments or big agencies to come and tell them how to do it, um, but who can take their own initiative. Yes, they may need support, they may need capacity building. Um, yes, they might make mistakes sometimes, but um, how powerful that is when, when people are trying their best uh, to conserve their forests, to plant the right trees in the right places. Um, and perhaps this has led me to relearn what we should have understood, what should have been obvious to all of us all along, but maybe we're only seeing again uh, properly, that we as people, we are only really happy and secure when we're in touch with nature um, and when we care for our own landscapes and the trees and the nature in those landscapes. Everything we do now, we do in the context of the climate change catastrophe which is beginning to strike hard at us all around the world uh, and which will become ever more uh, serious and concerning. So everything we do is, is within that context of climate change. Um, but planting trees is not narrowly uh, about sequestering some carbon. Uh, trees are not just sticks of carbon. We plant trees and we conserve trees and forests for all sorts of benefits, um, which, which I will not list here. I've touched on some of them uh, as I've talked. And every time we plant a tree in our own garden, or on our farm, or in our town, uh, or for our community, we're thinking of all those multiple benefits uh, that trees bring to us. Benefits that, that range from the economic to the spiritual, um, and which uh, go far beyond any one single dimension. So we do, we do need to retain that spirit of planting the right trees in the right place, of planting trees that belong uh, in that landscape, indigenous trees, um, and trees that bring us multiple benefits in uh, our own lives. Um, 
Uh, I have absolutely thoroughly enjoyed working with International Tree Foundation. I think we have an extraordinary uh, future ahead of us. Um, and uh, some of the work that we've supported in, in recent years, the expansion of our work to numerous uh, 30, more than 30 community-based organizations across Africa, the way that we've been able to support communities at home here in the UK, uh, just um, nearby where I'm speaking in, in Oxford, um, and the way we've begun to engage um, with that um, uh, importance of, of trees and forests also for uh, people's well-being. Um, and, and uh, for people's mental health, uh, any of these themes, all of these themes, uh, are ones that we, uh, I think, have enormous opportunities to pursue uh, going forward. And I, I wish International Tree Foundation all the best for the future and will remain a very keen uh, supporter, uh, both here in the UK and back in, in my other home in Kenya. Thank you.